I am Dr. Sanyal Shah. I am a head and neck cancer surgeon and I also am a robotic surgeon with a sleep specialist. I deal, being a cancer surgeon, I deal with people of various ethnicities and races. I would say something on nasopharyngeal cancers. Nasopharyngeal cancers are mostly found in the population in the northeast. Those people who are coming from northeast harbor nasopharyngeal cancers and that has made me change my policy in treatment of these patients. Northeast patients who are coming up with a complaint of sleep apnea and if they are candidate for surgery, we under, the patient undergoes not only sleep study and based on sleep study, patient if is a candidate for surgery, we do offer surgery. Now in surgery, what we do is a DICE which is a drug induced sleep endoscopy and we see for what is the level of obstruction. Is it either of nose, nasopharynx, palate, tongue? The modification that we do for northeast people coming with sleep apnea is that when I am trying to correct the sleep apnea, not only I am going to coblate, coblate the nasopharyngeal adenoids, but I will also take out part of tissue and send it for diagnosis. About 10 to 15 percent of the patients will have a nasopharyngeal carcinoma which would be EDV based which is found most commonly in the people from northeast. So yes, patients with sleep apnea have a chance of getting early diagnosis of nasopharyngeal cancer done. Many times they send for EBV analysis and if it comes positive or undefined carcinoma, we are picking up the cancer at an early stage and treating it. So definitely a strong relation of early diagnosis of nasopharyngeal carcinoma with sleep apnea. Thank you so much.